Hey there guys, Gans here, and welcome back to another Dwarf Fortress tutorial episode. First, I'd like to go ahead and mention uh, that yes, my mic does probably does sound a little different. That's because I'm currently on my spring break, and so I'm using a different mic than usual. But don't worry, next episode hopefully I will be back at home, and I'll be able to record with the mic that I normally use. So, I also realized after talking to a few people on Reddit and or in the YouTube comments uh, that I have completely disregarded um, defense and weapons so far, which, you know, it's worked out for me, but for some people it, uh, they might be attacked early on, so I'll go ahead and cover that in this episode. Um, also, I'm going to uh, go ahead and warn you guys, if your uh, game quickly goes to crap, and you end up uh, losing quicker than you see on my game, um, then I would suggest going ahead and restarting, just building yourself back up, or trying to remember it, getting to the point where I'm at on the series, and then continuing following along. Also, I also suggest that uh, during the free time you have when I don't have uh, videos coming up, is to go and start your own world and see how it goes from the tips that I've given you thus far. So I'd suggest going and doing that. It's the best way to learn, um, besides actually learning the techniques themselves. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we left off. Um, so we have the trapdoor down here. We have the barracks all set up, um, or the uh, dormitory. We have the farms, and we have the uh, animal pens over here. Uh, go down a few levels. Uh, we're getting ready to create our stockpiles here, our finished goods stockpiles. We have all of our workshops designated. Now they just need to be built. Um, all of our uh, unfinished goods stockpiles down here. Um, and then here's our meeting area and our kitchen and uh, finally our dining rooms. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by uh, seeing if our doors have been finished. Yeah, okay, so we have a few more doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and place those here and start designating some of these bedrooms. Um, that way, some of our doors can actually have their own bedroom for once. So yeah, once I've built the doors, then what we do is press Q. Wow, that's uh, kinda loud. Give me a second, please. Let me uh, go ahead and try and turn this down just a bit. There we go, hopefully. Hopefully that's not too loud now. Great. Okay. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to queue over and click Make Bedroom. Uh, we're going to size the room and hit Enter. And then now it's a uh, bedroom. And we're not going to assign the bed. We're just going to say that it's a uh, uh, open bed. And so somebody will eventually come up and claim it. Great. Sorry about that. I wanted to just turn that down and make sure that it wasn't overwhelming the sound of my... Uh, beautifully instructive voice. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next bedroom. Once again, press R, size it, hit enter, and move on. Um, later on, we're going to make some larger bedrooms, or if you decided to make some larger bedrooms, then just go ahead and size it to where uh, the walls are covered in the blue square, or the dark blue squares, and the insides of the bedroom is covered in the light blue squares. Um, if for some reason it seems to be leaking out into the hallway, that means you have a spot that has not been uh, uh, closed up by a door or a wall or something. And so just go ahead and close that up with whatever you'd like. I think all of these doors are still <laughs> waiting to be constructed. Oh goodness, we need another migrant wave here soon because we are running out of... Um, or we have way too many tasks with way too little dwarves. So let's go ahead and um, move on up here or move on down here. I'm going to also go ahead and rush this before I move on to the other stuff. That way we can get these stockpiles rolling as well. Um, let's see here. Um, should probably make sure that still set us up downstairs. There we go. Great. Um, oh, I also totally set all these walls to be mined up. Alright, so next I'm going to... Oh, Good to see you. Go away. Uh, next, I'm going to press Z for status. I'm going to go over to stocks. and We're going to take a look at any weapons that we have here. Um, so let's see. We've got a iron battle axe, battle axe, battle axe, hammer, spear, mace. Who's, who's using this? Hmm. Oh, it's forbidden for some reason. Let's take a look. Not why these are all forbidden. Oh, you know what? I'm assuming these are forbidden because it's the goods of the... Yeah. 
Hmm. I'm assuming because it's holy cow. It's the uh what the traders have. We, we actually have quite a few uh, armor type pieces here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to look for something that maybe we would not normally have uh, and then go compare it. Yeah, so let's see. Cougar leather shoes. Let's go take a look up here to find out if that's something they have. Oh, we can't look at it now. Alright, never mind. Well,. I'd hope maybe it can give us some more information on it here. Um, let's be forbidden. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Rotten in job. Forbidden. Very strange. Cave swallow. Forbidden. Huh. Oh, I apologize for that sound. Once again, I'm on vacation, so I got random stuff going on. All right, well, anyway, we still have weapons, which is good. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Dwarf Therapist, and we'll go and click uh, Military here. This will tell us what everybody's skill is. So we have a single person here, Latast, who is apparently a double female. I have no idea what that means. Anyways, um, it seems like they are an axe dwarf. Which makes sense because they are uh, they are our woodcutter. So um, let's go ahead and see here. Hmm. Cannot wield pikes. That makes sense. Mauls, halberds, great axes. Great. Okay. Well, that works then. So this person here, Latast. Um, is currently a lot of things. I think he's actually our manager as well. Let's take a look at nobles. Yes, he's our manager and our bookkeeper. Well, he's going to be the head of our guard too because he's the only other person with skills currently. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick him as our militia commander. Let's look for Latast here. Great. So I'm going to stick him as our military commander, or um, our militia commander. And... Um, I am not going to go ahead and worry about training schemes for now. Ah, now I might as well. Okay, so I'll go over training schemes real quick. So, if you go to S for, no, sorry, not S for squads. Where is it here? Um, not job list, not set order, not reports. It's It looks different. And, ah, M for military, of course. Um, and here is our uh, militia commander. We're going to go ahead and create a squad. Uh, since he is an axe dwarf, we will make a uh, metal armor squad. Uh, and here he is here, our militia commander. If we hit, well, I guess I'll go over the explanations. So, on the left side, we have the squads. Okay, so there's multiple squads that we can create as long as we set a leader for them, um, as long as we have a leader available. But for now, we have a single squad. Um, over here is the squad leader, the squad commander, uh, and that is our good old Latast. Uh, and then over here on the right side are all the people that we can pick. So if we go down to available and then go over to the right side, we can choose any of these people and stick them into the squads in these 10 available spots. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to skip alerts for now and go to E for equip. So this is all the uh, things that we can choose here to equip on somebody. So you can go through all the different armor, all the legs, materials, um, the uniforms, helm gloves, colors, etc. Um, but I like what he is doing here. So when you initially put somebody in, um, they won't be given anything. But if you put them in as a commander, they will be um, set as something individually. So, so you see here what uh, on this right side it says: metal armor, metal head here, or headwear, leg wear, etc. That means he's going to find whatever of that thing exists. He's going to pick it up and he's going to place it on his head. Uh, we could go in and separately um, decide what he gets, but because currently we don't have all that much and because honestly there's really only one guy, we'll go ahead and let him do his own thing. So that probably means he's going to pick up one of our battle axes and he's going to go ahead and pick that up and use that. Next there's uniforms. Um, so this is just saying what he can carry with him. I don't think we have any backpacks, so this doesn't matter. Um, but if you want him to carry drinks and food with him so he doesn't have to go back down to the uh, 
dinner area every time he gets hungry if he's on patrol or something then you would give him a backpack and that way he can just pull it out right then and there drink it eat and then continue moving on forward um so that's or sorry that's supplies not uniform um uniform okay so this is just what he would end up wearing um or this is what uh a normal uniform would end up wearing so if you assign leather armor to somebody they would wear this stuff if you sign metal armor if you sign uh, or if you sign them as an archer they'll worry that uh, they'll wear that great uh let's see ammunition that just tells us how much um, ammunition that person has we can assign a certain amount but i think this is fine for now the clear barricades they don't need any because you know all they are, are a melee squad for now and then schedule so this is where it starts getting fun um, as you can see, currently, he's set to train all days of the month. He cannot train currently because we don't have a training station uh, available for him. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and set up a schedule for him here. So, what I like to do is I like to set it up so it's train, sleep, patrol. Train, sleep, patrol. Paint, train, sleep, patrol. But currently, we do not have any sort of um, training area. We don't have any sort of sleeping area. And we don't have any patrols. So I'm going to go ahead and just cancel some of these orders. That way he's just going to move back and forth between train and resting and doing his job. Um, but again, since we don't have a training room, currently he's just going to do his job. So we'll just actually go ahead and remove all this training. That way he can just go and do whatever he wants um, while we're waiting for him. Uh, and then as soon as we get a training room up and running, we can go ahead and tell him what to do from there. So, I guess since we're already on that, I'll go ahead and move down. Uh, I'm going to make the training room two layers down. So, here's the farms right below that training room. That way, they have quick access to the surface, those who are there. Um, we're going to start by increasing... Um, I'm going to keep the priority the same. Start by giving them, of course, a nice little hallway, as we always do. Like that. Uh, and then I'm probably going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And this looks great here. I'm just going to go ahead and do something like this. Again, doesn't have to be perfect, but that's what I'm just going to do. I have a little area like this. so. And then, trust me when I do this, just make little areas such as this. Those are going to be our archer rooms. Okay, great. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, resume and let our uh, miners get busy with that. I'm also going to come up here, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and show you what to do when it comes to uh, safety. So we want a nice little area set out for us so that we, our dwarves can have enough room to play and do what they need to do, but also um, that we can keep it safe with walls and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our zones, take a look where our zones are currently located. Um, I don't like the positioning of this zone, but I think we're going to have to cut the zone in half. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and make the dog station as the edge of this uh, location. So what I'm going to do is press D for designate, okay, and then I'm going to click, uh, or I'm going to press uh, Z for remove up stairs slash ramps, um, and then just select this whole area where I'm going to place the wall. I'm probably going to place it down to about, uh, I think here will be fine, and then press enter. And as you can see, it's selected all of these ramps for removal. So what this is going to do is if we go up a level, as you can see, the mountain um, has space on it so that people can actually come from the top of the mountain up here, run all the way down the sides, and then attack us like that. So they'll be able to get in. So what I'm doing is I'm removing any ability for them to uh, come down and attack us from uh, above. And then we'll just build the walls right, uh, right on the outsides of that so people have to go down and come out around the sides of our fortress in order to attack. Ah, good. Some more migrants have arrived. That's going to be very helpful. Let's go ahead and take a look here and update it. Three dwarves. Migration wave. Okay, it's not a huge migration, but it's uh, it's it's all right. Uh, we have some gym ability. That's good. Wow, crazy gym ability there. 
fishing. Might as well give him some all those skills there. Um, Bowery and wood cutting. Great. Always could use some more of that. Stone detailing. You're kind of useless by yourself. But let's see. Hunting, diagnosis, and spinning. Uh, we'll go ahead and give him masonry as well. Um, this person. Oh, yeah. They're a gym cutter. Let's see if there's anybody useful, useless here. Wax working. I never use them. And pressing. I rarely use them. I'm going to go ahead and set this person as our main doctor. So I'll go ahead and just select all of these. These are already pre-selected, so don't worry about that. And this person here, Ral Nishmuban, I'm going to set as our chief medical dwarf. I think it's Ral Mish, Nish. Oh, they haven't uh, showed up yet. So we'll go ahead and wait till they show up first. Um, but yeah, this is going to be helpful. Let's go ahead and see if they have any military ability. Yes, there's one person who can be a hammer dwarf. Great, so we'll add him to our squad. And I'll probably also make a squad for um, archers here too, because we have a marks dwarf, uh, an ambusher, though ambushing isn't the greatest use, and then another um, marks dwarf slash uh, archer. Cool. Oh, they also probably bought, brought some animals with them. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'll open up this pen. Um, Cavy pup, duckling, yaks. Oh, lots of yak calves. That's awesome. Bunny, you puppy, uh, puppies. Here we go. Uh, kittens. All right. So we'll go ahead and stick the rest over here into this pin. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Might as well stick the duck down in here as well. Or the chick, sorry. I guess there wasn't any duck. I could have been totally... No, I could have sworn there was a duck. Oh, here, duckling. There we go. Great. Cool. So, once they've arrived at our meeting place, we'll be able to assign them a job. Um, we might be able to already. Let's go ahead and take a look. Where's Ral? There he is. Make sure. Ral Nish. Nish is something or another. Yeah, great. Cool. Glad to see him here. Um, we also have all those animals set. We have the um, ramps all set. So hopefully our miners will be able to get to that. Our miners will be kept nice and busy over the next while as we get all this done. Um... Can I reach Mechanics Workshop? Why do you keep suspending that? Let's go ahead and take a look. Hmm. It looks fine. I think this is it here, right? No. Uh, why is this suspended? Again, maybe I guess they can't get to it. So we'll go ahead and mine out. Oh. Mine this out there. That way, they'll actually go and open that up and hopefully get this building. Anyway, we're going to jump back on up here to this stockpile. Uh, so we'll go and press P for stockpiles, more P for piles. And this here is going to be our finished goods stockpile. So it's going to be a plethora of different things that have to do with um, gems, bones, uh, and rock. So... That couldn't, should not be animal, but we'll go ahead and change that here. So we'll disable that and finish goods. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stuff here. We're going to get rid of flasks and goblets because that's downstairs. Musical instruments, that's fine. Um, armor, I mm, I guess that's fine for now. Figurines, amulets, scepters, crowns, rings, earrings, bracelets, large gems, totems, legwear, backpacks, quivers, splints, crutches. Uh, tools, codices. We'll put these splints and crutches elsewhere pretty soon. But all of these materials look fine. Um, I think that's going to be good. We'll go ahead and include... Um, uh, let's see. Stone blocks as well. Um, and we'll just extend that pile when needed. 
And then on the bottom left here is going to be just a bunch of furniture. So once again, we'll go ahead and press P for piles. Um, select U for furniture, I guess, or uh, nature. Um, and then take a look at what stuff it's doing here. Yeah, great, 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 great. Perfect, wonderful, awesome, cool. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Um, and then once these uh, workshops have been completed, we'll go ahead and start doing some other stuff. I'm also going to look at some jobs and take a look at our manager and see if we have mechanisms set up. We do not, so mechanisms... We'll just go and make uh, 10 of those. Hopefully in a pretty soon episode, once we have all our military set up and we don't have to worry about raids and whatnot. Uh, what's this? Why can you not get to the workshop? God, this is so frustrating. I hate it when this happens. <sighs> all right. Um, we'll be able to start working with uh, metal because we have some pretty good metal here. If I can remember... Yeah, mag magnetite is pretty nice. Um, so we'll be able to deal with that soon. I'm also got to wonder why I have a ram just out in the middle. Of oh, okay, they're in the pasture. Great. Go ahead and keep going. Nice thing about having a caravan here is... What in the world is going on? Oh, dear. Where is this at? Oh. It's going on in the uh, caverns. <laughs> All right. Well, great. You two just battle it out. You have fun with that. Maybe, maybe if you guys kill each other, once we get down there, we can pick up your uh, tools. I don't know why we still have that fighting sound going on, though. Probably because of that battle that's going on. Oh my goodness. Cannot reach the site. Why? Why can you not? You are standing right there. You are fine. God, this... Oh, I can't stand it when freaking buildings do this. So frustrating. Learn from me. Make sure that your buildings do not have corner uh, setups. <sighs> Otherwise, you might have the same dang thing going on. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. We're fine here. Um... Why is the yak cow doing something? Interesting. Okay, well, either way, I'm not going to worry about this fighting, because I'm assuming that it's uh, just dealing with the other stuff. <sighs> Screw you. You can reach it. You're sitting right inside of it. I'm just going to keep on doing this until they finally move. What's probably going on is they're upset about the um, metal that's in the, lo in the way. Um... And so, uh, that's why they're complaining about that. Um, where is this? Mechanics Workshop. Is this the exact same one? Oh, no, it's this one here. Okay, great. Sorry if you can hear the music in the background. Good old ice cream truck coming around. I'm actually going to have to end the episode pretty soon here. Um, God, why are there so many different... Remind me to never go into that cave. Actually, why don't we just go ahead and watch it while we're waiting. Holy cow! Look at all that blood. Crocodile has freaking massacred these guys. It would be incredible as if the crocodile killed killed them, and then they they killed the crocodile and it just bled out to death. That would be the best outcome, because then we could just break in and take everything. Oh, he's trying to run away in through the water. Ah, out into the location that we cannot see. Yeah, the crocodile is still alive, unfortunately. Which means that we uh, can't go in there yet. 
Also, it seems like our caravan friends are off. Good luck. I wish you all great fortune. Uh, we will be seeing you again soon in the fall. All right, so I think I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, finish up these stockpiles here, and then I will um, go ahead and end the episode after that. Let's go ahead and increase the priority just so we can get these out of the way. Great. Um, but yeah, so on the bottom right, we're also going to set up a location for furniture because we're just going to have a ton of furniture. Um, oh, dear. Interrupted by what? Skunk, okay, whatever. Um, so we'll press you again for more furniture. And probably eventually we will end up having to uh, increase the size of these stockpiles as well. Um, that would not surprise me in the least bit. Uh, actually, what, what I think I might end up doing here is I might change the type of um, uh, material used. So here in this stockpile, I'm going to go ahead and remove stone and clay. Um, and I'm going to leave the rest of this. Yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of these. And then over here, I'm going to change the settings and make it just metal and stone and clay. Okay. Like that. Great. So that way we kind of separate it out, especially since um, if you look down below here, the wood is going to be on the right side and the stone's going to be on the left. So that'll be a good way to set that out. And then finally, the last part, uh, clothes is going to be on the top right clothes and things like leather and whatnot. So let's go ahead and select H for cloth. And we'll go ahead and make sure that this is right. Cloth. Yep. Thread is fine. We'll go ahead and leave that there and we'll enable leather as well. Perfect. Cool. So yeah, that should uh, deal with most of the items. Any extra items, we'll probably make a uh, another uh, um, stockpile later to deal with that. What is this? Ah, white sand. Cool. So this is actually a deeper uh, a place that we can probably uh, do some more um, do some more uh, not building. What is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Some more farming later. Man, this guy is just uh, going ham with doors. You know what? I think that deserves a name. Time to name another dwarf. Again, once again, before we end. <laughs> So I'll press uh, Z to go to him. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, that's a bad way to do that. I'll press V to view, um, and then Y to customize. And um, let's see, dwarf. Oh uh, no, door. Hmm. Door master. Hmm. No. Master of doors. There we go. Great. So he's now our master of dwarves, Mason. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Well, I think that's going to uh, just about end the episode here. Actually, as you see, our dwarves clearing up all of those uh, ramps. Um, it's a very fast job, which is what's nice about it. Um, next episode, I will go over uh, building a barracks um, as well as a training uh, regiment and training schedule. Um, I'll go over setting up uh, walls for your fortress as well as connecting um, these uh, bridges to the mechanisms that way we can have an emergency system um, and then finally uh, maybe I'll, I'll work on setting up routes for our mil military hopefully a few episodes later from that I'll start working with metal and I'll show you the um, basics for that anyway Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I hope it helps you to uh, enables you to have the maximum amount of fun. Bye.